Hey guys, um, in this video we're going to write a C program that will reverse a string. So let's go ahead and get started. I have up my dev C++ um, IDE. So first we'll go ahead and include stdo.h and write our main function. And make sure I return a value. And because I'm on Windows, I'm going to use system pause. Okay. So we want to basically take a we want to take input. We want to take the input of a string and then reverse it. So let's uh write up here. Uh, this program takes in a string and reverses it. Okay, and so one of the libraries that would be very useful for this is the string library. Include string.h And what we're going to use from that, from string.h, is this function called gets. So uh, that's going to be a very useful function for us here. Now, let's see here. Let's uh, go ahead and do a print statement. Let's ask the user for input. So please enter a string to reverse backslash in and if we run this let me save it as a C file uh, let's go with uh, desktop projects C programs uh, tutorial programs and let's call this reverse string dot C okay and so we get please enter a string to reverse and I'm gonna put a little uh, colon there so now we need to actually get that string so we're gonna create a char variable and I'm gonna call it stir for string of size 100 and we're going to use the function gets and it's going to get stir for string and now let's run it and let's see so we have please enter a string to reverse hello world okay so so far so good um, everything is working properly and now what we're going to want to do is maybe we want to reverse the string here and also here I'm going to type in ask a user for the string and this right here gets the string I like to put comments in my code and then uh, what we want to do is say uh, use a print statement and say uh, the string uh, percent s reverse is percent s backslash n And for now, I'm just going to use a placeholder just so we can print out the string twice. So let's give this a run. And string hello. And it says the string hello reverse is hello. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to create the reverse function. Uh, I guess what it could be is. Uh, it, it could return a string. Um, 
but uh, we know what actually I believe that string.h has a function hmm and that function should be called string reverse I believe so let's see string reverse and we're going to type in string here and let's see here hello and the string oh <laughs> so what this end up doing is reversing the string of the array and that's not exactly what we want so what we can do here is we can create another string and we can call it um, original uh, original string of size 100 and here we're going to reverse the string but before we reverse the string we need to make sure that the original string is uh, is copied. So we're going to copy the string into the original string. So I believe that there's a function as well in string.h called strcpy string copy and we're going to copy uh, oh perfect so the first one is the destination where we're going to copy uh, the string to and uh, the second parameter is the source so we want to copy the original and we want to copy into original original string from the actual string and now what we can do is we we'll just copy this here, paste it here, and let's see what we get. So hello, the string hello reversed is ole. <laughs> All right, so um, it looks like that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Um, Please leave uh, likes, comments, please subscribe. These three functions are pretty useful uh, from the string.h function. And we definitely used <laughs> uh, uh, basically all three to get this done. Maybe in the next video I'll show how to reverse a string um, using a for loop or a while loop. So thank you guys and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.